Joining us on the line from Boston now is author and political commentator Kaveh Afrasiabi to discuss this further. Many thanks for joining us here on Press TV, Mr. Afrasiabi. Now, you heard the comments made by Sherman just a few minutes ago, and also that you are very well aware of the current political and economic situation in the U.S. What do you make of the current, uh, uh, the fact that the U.S. Uh, State Department is asking lawmakers to not impose new sanctions on Iran? Well, uh, I think that's a good omen, and hopefully it will be followed with uh, good faith negotiation in Geneva when the 5 plus 1 and Iran are supposed to gather together on October 15th and 16th. Uh, what, uh, when the chairman, the chief U.S. negotiator, said that the foreign relations hearing uh, is very significant because she also added that the U.S. is ready to ease some of the sanctions if Iran takes some concrete, verifiable actions with respect to slowing down the enrichment activities and so on. And so, you know, there are some positive signs coming from the Obama administration. And at the same time, this shutdown, I think, has an overall contradictory effect with respect to Iran because President Obama has canceled his foreign trips and is preoccupied with domestic economic problems. And I think that he will have less of a direct role in managing the Iran side more than he would like to and had he had stated, you know, in the past couple of weeks. So I think this is an you know contradictory effect that overall it's good with respect to the easing of the pressure of the unjust sanctions on Iran, uh, which was just debated by Chairman in the US Congress today. Well, speaking of which, do you think that there is that political will in Washington uh, to take this opportunity to not, not just not impose new sanctions on Iran, but to actually ease some of the illegal sanctions that it has imposed on the country? Well, I think it is, and I think that, uh, you know, based on the reports of the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's meeting with President Obama, apparently it's not... He did not go as Mr. Netanyahu wished it, and, you know, his speech at the U.N. apparently even, you know, made some people in the White House uh, rather upset. Uh, so I think President Obama is determined to move the Iran uh, engagement policy forward irrespective of the Israeli pressure. The big question, however, is... Uh, you know, the, the, the pressure of the domestic priorities and whether or not Obama will be able to fully concentrate on his commitment to, you know, focus laser light on the Iran issue, just as he promised uh, over a week ago. Okay, that was uh, author and political commentator Kaveh Afrasiabi there joining us on the line from Boston. Mr. Afrasiabi, it's always a pleasure having you with us here on Press TV.